Hi everyone, I'm, I'm Mark Sarkeesian. Uh, I'm a structural engineer and I'm a partner at Skidmore Owings & Merrill. A little bit about my career. I actually didn't start out in college as an engineer. Um, I started out in the liberal arts and I was undecided. I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. But over time, I uh, considered my interests. And for me, it was a mix of mathematics, physics, chemistry, and probably very important, the arts. So studio art, architecture. And what I found with civil engineering is that you could combine all of these things together and, and become someone who's involved with the design of buildings. It could be bridges as well, but my interests were in buildings. So I then went on to graduate school and studied structural engineering specifically. So I spent two years researching and studying um, how structural engineering is integrated into building design. And when I was soon to graduate from graduate school, I met an engineer who had my position as a researcher at the university, and this was Lehigh University in, 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 in the United States. And he told me about a firm that designs everything for a project, from planning all the way to the final weld in the structure. And I couldn't think of a, a place that I would rather work than this firm called Skidmore Owings & Merrill. And it is a firm, and there are other firms that are similar, but I would argue that this firm was founded on the principles of integrated design and a collective design that respects the arts, respects social issues, and tries to create beautiful, unusual buildings. So my career has been focused on innovative structures, inventions, um, work with universities, trying to share our experience uh, as designers in practice, and working with professors, great professors like the ones here uh, in Madrid that um, that believe that students should be educated with the fundamentals of design and become great designers in firms like mine. Um, some of the people that work with us eventually go on to become professors. Uh, so it's a mix and, and we think that the relationship is really important. So I've been at my firm uh, my entire career. I have not worked for anybody else. And we believe that design is something that is a collective of ideas. And I think that's the best way to describe the reasons for being an architect or an engineer is that it combines lots of skills together in one place. You could argue that it's built art. So you can imagine beautiful art that you build that people can live in, experience. Engineers work directly with architects in our firm to create ideas from the very, very beginning. So everyone has a, a, a say in design. And a lot of times research is done in advance. So what you see here are some models that the students have built. We've learned about Paul building design and we've learned about how buildings behave. And so you'll see different things in these models like ropes or heavier members. So that's an indication of what the load is on each of these elements. So for example, Something in tension would be something like this rope. If I pull on this, these two ropes will resist. If I push this way, they won't resist, right? But these will. So when I pull this way, these are in compression. So we're learning about how buildings work in real time by building models by hand. And for us as designers, we take these fundamental concepts and we design super tall buildings. So we learn about how buildings work at great scale, but also at a scale that we can see and, and, and experience. So I think the best way to describe it is the summary of ideas and this creative approach to creating places in the world that are better for people, cities, not just buildings, but cities. So we think about planning and research you think about how to use materials. You think about how to work with policy and officials that lead governments uh, here in Spain, the relationship between designers and 
officials are very important in order to get buildings built. <clears throat> and it's this uh, active way of all participating together to create something beautiful and useful. Most, most okay. I started in 1985 and I'm still part of the firm today. I'm a partner in the firm and uh, we're a private company owned by the partners. And it's been a fantastic experience. Every day is different and every day is just loaded with, um, I would say opportunities to do great things. Whether they're big, tall buildings or small buildings, uh, residential buildings, or most importantly, buildings at universities, where we give a chance to create something special for students to be inspired by technology, uh, architecture that's unusual. So, you know, my hope is that, uh, that students find this in their lives. They, they find something that they believe in, they think is really unusual. And when I became an engineer, my junior year in college, after I was undecided, I never looked back. I just thought it was a fantastic way for me to use my skills. And the last point I'll make is that I think it's a collective. So students that are studying engineering, they should study the arts, study music, study history, use it as a way to form your ideas. And the same thing for architects, study engineering, study mathematics, create buildings that are of the people and fun and uh, and that is influenced by all these other disciplines. Uh, so I think that's a, maybe a best, the best way that I can think of uh, to give advice perhaps to students as they enter into college and then, you know, afterward and contribute. And I, I don't mean financially contribute, although you might do that. I mean, contribute to society, like really make a difference, not just in the firm that you work with, but the broader world because it's super important for us to control the impact on the environment and make smart decisions. And that's what I've done, uh, I believe, in my career. It's uh, an honor to be here at this university because it's just loaded with ideas and energy and um, it's great to be part of it. So I would just like to thank the leaders here and the professors for inviting me to come and have a chance to interact with the students and build some things and test some things, which we'll do soon. Um, and hopefully we can do it again sometime. It would be fantastic. Hi everyone, I'm, I'm Mark Sarkeesian. I'm a structural engineer. I'm a partner at Skidmore Owings and & Merrill. And we believe that design is something that is a collective of ideas. And I think that's the best way to describe the reasons for being an architect or an engineer is that it combines lots of skills together in one place. You could argue that it's built art. So you can imagine beautiful art that you build that people can live in, experience. Engineers work directly with architects in our firm to create ideas from the very, very beginning. So everyone has a, uh, a say in design. And a lot of times research is done in advance. So what you see here are some models that the students have built. We've learned about tall building design and we've learned about how buildings behave. And so you'll see different things in these models like ropes, or heavier members. So that's an indication of what the load is on each of these elements. So for example, something in tension would be something like this rope. If I pull on this, these two ropes will resist. If I push this way, they won't resist, right? But these will. So when I pull this way, these are in compression. So we're learning about how buildings work in real time by building models by hand. And for us as designers, we take these fundamental concepts and we design super tall buildings. So we learn about how buildings work at great scale, but also at a scale that we can see and, and, and experience. So I think the best way to describe it 
is the summary of ideas and this creative approach to creating places in the world that are better for people, cities, not just buildings, but cities. So we think about planning and research. We think about how to use materials. We think about how to work with policy and officials that lead governments uh, here in Spain. The relationship between designers and officials are very important in order to get buildings built. <clears throat> and it's this uh, active way of all participating together to create something. Thanks. Whether they're big, tall buildings or small buildings, uh, residential buildings, or most importantly, buildings at universities, where we have a chance to create something special for students to be inspired by technology, uh, architecture that's unusual. So, you know, my hope is that uh, that students find this in their lives. They, they find something that they believe in, they think is really unusual. And when I became an engineer, my junior year in college, after I was undecided, I never looked back. I just thought it was a fantastic way for me to use my skills. And the last point I'll make is that I think it's a collective. So students that are studying engineering, they should study the arts, study music, study history, use it as a way to form your ideas. And the same thing for architects, study engineering, study mathematics, create buildings that are of the people and fun. And, uh, and that is influenced by all these other disciplines. Uh, so I think that's a, maybe a best, the best way that I can think of uh, to give advice perhaps to students as they enter into college and then, you know, afterward and contribute. And I, I don't mean financially contribute, although you might do that. I mean, contribute to society, like really make a difference, not just in the firm that you work with, but the broader world, because it's super important for us to control the impact on the environment and make smart decisions. And that's what I've done, uh, I believe, in my career.